Hi, I'm Kai with Kai Fitness for Golf. I want to introduce you to one of my favorite workout tools, which is the Indo Board. The Indo Board is great, it's very simple, and it's easy to use. Easy in a way that means you know, it's not so complicated, but it's great to build balance and stability. So you see, it's just the board itself and the padding. Nice thing about this is I can make the Indo Board harder or easier wherever your level is right now, your balance level is right now. So which means if I put more air in this cushion right here, the board will be higher off the ground. Of course, it'll be harder, it moves much quicker. I can let the air out and it's closer to the ground, so it's much easier to balance. So the way you use it, just go ahead and put the board down, the pad down, the board right in the middle of it. Here we go. From here, you just step on it. If it's your first time, it's okay to hold on to something. If not, just go ahead and stand right on it and try to balance the board. And what you want to do is you want to just really relax right here. Look straight ahead. You don't want to look down. If you look down, it starts to move quite a bit more. It's much better if you just look straight ahead. Relax your legs, bend your knees a little bit, be nice and relaxed on it, okay? The board will always move on you. You will never be able to keep it 100% still. So don't worry about that little bit of movement down here. What you want to look for is that you're straight and that you're in control up here. Now, once you're comfortable with it, you can vary your stance a little bit, make it a little bit wider, a little bit easy, a little bit narrower, but you can also start moving your limbs. When you start moving your limbs, you see I have to balance more now. You can use both arms, whichever way you want to start moving. You can do some rotations right here. And you see, once you start moving, you have to compensate a lot more. You have to balance a lot more. That makes it quite a bit harder then. Now, this is great to build a lot of stability muscles, starting from your feet, to your ankles, to your knees, to your hips, even your core is quite a bit involved right here. So really good for that. And we want stability muscles, it protects your joints, but also gives you more control of your movements, which of course in the swing is very important, yeah? From here, you can start doing some squats, so you can just go ahead and sit down nice and slow. Obviously, the further down you go, the harder it gets. And again, you see it'll always move on you a little bit, just to try to stay relaxed. And even if it hits sometimes, it's no problem, okay? Just catch yourself again and go to the middle. Now what I like about it a lot is it's very safe. If I would hit the side too fast, I can just step off of it so you won't fall off a board. Yeah? So uh, from the exercise, again, you can do everything from all the dumbbell exercises you're doing. If you think about some curls, again, take your dumbbell, set yourself up, relax, look in the mirror, be straight, relax your legs. Here you can do your curls now or you can do your shoulder rotation. Again, just relax. Doesn't really matter what's going on down there. Just make sure you stay straight, your axis is straight. I even use them for some push-ups. Because here again, you just hold on. Now you have to balance right here, so it's quite a bit harder on your push-ups. Your shoulders have to stabilize a lot more. And here you can do your push-ups on it. So you see, there's many different ways of using the inner board. Now, when should you use the indoor board? Uh, the indoor board is great to add another progression to every exercise. So, you remember, we want to make sure we learn the exercise to be perfect first. Make sure you're straight, make sure you're relaxed, make sure you're in control, make sure your axis is always aligned. After that, we want to add some resistance. That's the first progression, which means we make things heavier, using a heavier dumbbell, using more weight on the cable, or we take away stability. When we take away stability, we have to stabilize a lot more and it's a lot harder to control our body and to control our axis. And that's where in the board comes in. We take away stability, now we're on the board, now we have to balance all the time. Therefore though, you can't use as much weight anymore, which means you probably go lighter on your curls, on your hammer curls, on your shoulder rotations. You're probably gonna go lighter, but the added effect of having to balance will make the exercise just as hard. What would the indoor board do for you for your golf? Now it's really good, of course, obviously we build a better base. Of course, we're gonna get stronger in our legs, we're gonna have more balance, we're gonna have our stabilizing muscles and our ankles and our knees and our hips are gonna get stronger. And your body is gonna learn, your nervous system is gonna learn how to balance and stay in control better, which will translate into more control within your swing, more accuracy at the end. Also for putting, if you have a better base, because you're more grounded, you're more stable, you can stabilize more. Now you have a better base, now you can use your shoulders nicely as a pendulum. You don't have to worry about your lower body moving around on you. 
but also it's great again to build stabilizing muscles and stabilizing muscles will help you control the club and your movements but it also helps protect the joints and that's very important we want to play long golf with no pain we want to protect the joints therefore we stay healthy in that regard okay another good factor is that you learn how to concentrate on your task not what's going on around you or the circumstances so if I step on this board now and I'm doing let's say a hammer curl to overhead from here with dumbbells up out what I want to look for is that I stay straight and aligned doesn't matter what happens down there so this is the circumstance my circumstance is that I'm standing on that board and I have to balance it my task is to do this exercise the shoulder rotation and still stay straight and not giving in not losing my balance so and that's the same in golf if you're in a bunker and you have the 30 degree stance in an angle now do you want to concentrate on circumstance or on your task of course the circumstance you can't change you're in the bunker you got to deal with it rather concentrate on your task get your stable position get your stable base and then do your movement just the way you want to do it which means around your axis stay in control don't worry about what's going on underneath you you can't change it anything